Now, if we want to become this voice of trust, and I think you do, and I think I do, what uh, what do we got to do? Let's put it into four simple steps, okay? Number one, you got to be willing to, to tell what others in your space are not telling. You got to be willing to say what others aren't saying. And, and this, of course, is through social. This is uh, through your website, etc. But that hasn't changed since the beginning of the internet. Number two, we got to be willing to show what others in our space aren't willing to show. And we've got to do that, of course, through video and showing more. We've got to be willing to, number three, sell in ways that others in our space aren't willing to sell. And then finally, and this is really, uh, this is elevated since the beginning of AI. And now that we're seeing so much influence of AI, we've got to be more human in ways that others in our space aren't being. So in other words, we've got to humanize our brand better than ever. We've got to humanize our content better than ever. This doesn't mean we don't use AI, but it just means that we allow the human element to come out. And in the short time that we have together, which is like 11 minutes, we're going to look at how to tell, show, sell, and be more human. And we're going to really land on that human point. This is really, really important. So let's go fast and furious, shall we? So how can you tell and show what others in your space aren't telling and showing? Now, you might say, I feel like we do this pretty well, Marcus. Well, what has not changed? since I've been talking about what you might know as they ask you answer over the last uh, 12 years or so is there's five subjects that buyers are obsessed with. Now they might be going to chat GPT to ask these questions, but there's five things that they really want to know that businesses don't tend to talk about. Here's the big five. They've been this way now for over a decade. As buyers and consumers, we want to know how much is it all the questions about cost, budget, et cetera. We want to know what are the negatives or the problems with it? How could this go wrong? This decision of buying this thing. We want to know how does it compare to that other thing that I'm looking at? We want to know what's everybody saying about it reviews. And we want to know what the best it is. How many times have you gone online and searched for best such and such? Now, this is what we are obsessed with as buyers, as consumers. We're constantly researching these things, yet most companies still don't want to talk about, don't want to show the answers to these subjects, to these questions on their website, this has to change. And that's where you start right there. You got to be willing to do that. 